It's Patrick Legree from Half Wheel, and this is the Vertigo Cyborg, one of the new releases from the Lotus Group and Integral Logistics that was released in July 2020. Now, this is a tabletop single flame lighter. It's on the smaller side of the tabletop spectrum, measures four and a half inches tall, two inches wide, and just under an inch thick, weighing about three and a half ounces. Now, it doesn't mean you can't throw it in your pocket, but that is how the company categorizes it. Uh, the body of the lighter is made out of aluminum, and that is this upper part, these side panels, and then there are two plastic panels that are right here and here that give you three different color options, black matte, chrome and black, and then this one, which is a digital camouflage and gunmetal option. Now, each of those three options are $24.99 each. They're all available on the market now, and they all come with the company's lifetime warranty. Now, it's a fairly straightforward lighter, single-action ignition with a large torch, and a big fuel tank inside. And the first thing I have to give the Cyborg a lot of credit for is the ergonomics. They are absolutely fantastic. As I mentioned, it's a, it's a tabletop lighter, but it fits great in the hand, three and a half ounces. It's, you'll notice it's there, but it's not so heavy that it's uncomfortable. And again, all you really do is put your thumb on the ignition, pull back, the butane starts flowing, you pull till it clicks, the lighter ignites, you light your cigar, and you are done with it. It's a really simple, easy to use, very comfortable and ergonomic lighter. Now, the second thing are some of the design aspects. Uh, the most noticeable one, at least at first glance, is these fins up here on the top. And while that may just look like a design thing, it's actually to help dissipate heat from the lighter. You'll see these on cars and electronics and computers and all sorts of things. And the same design and the same principle applies here. As we all know, torch lighters can get really hot. So what Lotus did is they created these fins and it helps to dissipate the heat rather quickly. Now, it still does get hot, don't get me wrong, but it does cool off fairly efficiently. The Probably the most noticeable thing when you spend a little time about it or with the lighter is that there is a gap right there. And that is actually where the butane comes up from the tank. It mixes with the air and then it goes on to uh, where the jet is and becomes a flame. And as you will notice, there is a little gap there. And yes, I will show you that there actually is a gap there uh, in just a few seconds. But it's a really interesting design thing. And what it also means is that there's no air vents on the lighter. Because again, this is where the mixture of butane and air happens. Uh, I spoke to some people at the company about it. It's just a different approach. And I, can I say, like, do I notice a big difference? No, I think I notice some differences um, in terms of the way that the mixture happens and what that does to the flame. But for the most part, no, there's not a huge difference in it. Finally, one of the other big features of this is this oversized flame adjustment wheel down here on the bottom. Very uh, typical in terms of how you use it, but again, nice and big. So if you're not a fan of small flame wheels or not having to use a tool or pop out a tab, this is probably one of the easiest uh, flame adjustment wheels that I have seen. Almost a little too easy, but we'll get to that in a second. So let's turn the lights off and show you what the Cyborg looks like when it is firing. So again, oversized single torch flame. And what that generally means is that this can make quicker work of your bigger ring gauge cigars without giving up the precision of a single torch lighter. A lot of people smoke bigger ring gauges. So if you smoke in the upper 50s or 60s or even up to 70, this will do a adequate, more than adequate job. But again, if you smoke Lanceros, you can see it comes to a nice little, not quite pinpoint there, but a fairly nice little shape. And so you can easily light a Lancero or Corona, touch up a cigar, and still have all that accuracy. So it's a nice hybrid between the two. And it's something we've seen a lot more of in recent years when it comes to single flame torch lighters. So let's fire the lights back up. And again, what I want to show you is that there actually is a little gap in there. And so what I did is this is just a strip of paper that I pulled off uh, literally out of my recycling bin. And so if I fire the lighter up, and then put that little piece of paper in there. There goes the flame. Again, lighter's going, piece of paper in, flame not there. Now again, why would you really want to do this? I don't know, but it is interesting to show that that is where the butane is coming out, mixing with the air, and thus feeding the flame. Again, do I notice a huge difference? No, not really, but it's kind of a cool party trick, I guess. So anyway, while I love the, the ergonomics of the Cyborg, and I love the general use of it, not all is great with this lighter. And my biggest complaint is that there is absolutely no fuel window on this thing. Now, 
I know a lot of bigger lighters don't have fuel windows, and there is a relationship between the size of the lighter the material used for the fuel tank, and then whether or not that results in a fuel window. In the case of the Cyborg, it's an opaque tank in the middle, and that means that you can't see how much fuel you have left in it. Now, it's also a little bit of a cost thing. I will gladly pay a couple of bucks more if it means I could have a fuel window, because inevitably I will forget to fill this up, and I will be outside, or I will be out, and I will be out of fuel, and we all know that can be kind of a pain in the butt. So again, not the end of the world, but it is annoying. Also, the flame adjuster, which I mentioned is really nice if you, you know, maybe have a little bit of arthritis or whatever the case may be, or you just don't like dealing with a small fuel adjuster. For as easy as it is to use, it's almost a little too easy. And it has a little bit too much play in it. And I've noticed, you know, putting it in my pocket or even sometimes when I'll hold it, like my pinky will kind of curl around it or just brush up against it. And it seems like the flame just isn't where I left it. And sometimes what that means, the flame can get really big. And that's probably a little bit of an exaggeration, but it really does get fairly big. If you were to open this thing, and you actually see the butane spewing out of it. Um, when that thing is wide open, it there you go. It creates a really big flame. And again, that's just something I'm not a fan of. Um, again, not that I point lighters at my face, but we've all lit a cigar with it in our mouth to get a good draw on it. I don't want that thing doing that in my general direction. So again, that's another one of my little, you know, not complaints, but just one of the things I'm not crazy about when it comes to the cyborg. So again, it's a solid lighter when it's filled up and dialed in. And if you are, if that's your only experience with it, I think you will love the Vertigo Cyborg. The problem is that's not reality. And that's not how you're going to likely be using the lighter most of the time. You're going to be using it coming out of your pocket. You're going to be borrowing it from a buddy. You're going to be uh, just whatever the case may be. And you're going to get some varied results. And that was just enough that while I really was impressed with some of the aspects, I was also annoyed with a few others. And unfortunately, it's those annoying factors that ended up outweighing the impressing factors. So that's the Vertigo Cyborg. Thanks for watching this review. For a full review, as well as complete coverage of the cigar industry, be sure to visit halfwheel.com.